is going to be a quick instru instructional video of how to install Cutthroats using a disk image, installing Cutthroats patch version 7, and running the game using DX window. All files are provided by me, no third party. I'm adding the ISO image because online I've read that people are having trouble finding the game again. Running the game with DX window will stop all crashes. In order to run the game, you have to run it with a disk. So every single time you want to play it, you'll have to mount it using WinISO. WinISO offer, also offers the ability to burn the disk image onto a disk itself. So you'll be able to use an actual disk instead of mounting it using the software every time if you so choose to. So once we have it installed, we open file locate cutthroats, open it. You can now see all the files associated with the disk image. We will mount. We will not run it through this. We will open it through a file explorer. Scroll down until we find setup and we will run the game setup. It will install as, as normal. I'll fast forward through all this. Game's done. We don't want to read the README file, and we don't need to reinstall DirectX, and we don't need this open anymore. We still need to keep it mounted, so we'll minimize. We'll open Cutthroat's patch version 7, extract onto the desktop. This is fast and easy, yes. We'll install. That's done. So now we have DX window. I like to create another file or folder on my desktop. DX window. And we uh, select all. Paste. Now we have our DX window. When you're opening this for the first time, it's in amateur mode so we're going to click on options and go to expert mode right click anywhere on the middle of the white screen and click add and this is why we go into expert because we get all these extra options that we're going to need so now we need to set path for our game mine's going to open right up to it because I've been here before but it's going to be loca located in your program files 86 in Idios Interactive Hothouse Creations, Cutthroats, select Cutthroats, Application, Open. I'm going to remove Run in Window and switch to Full Screen only. If you have issues with latency, then you can come back here and lower background priority. That does help. I'm not going to worry about it now. Next thing we're going to do is go to Compatibility or Compat. Second from the top of Tweaks, we're going to see Set Single Core Process Affinity. We're going to select that, click OK, and now we're going to save. If you don't save, when you close this out, this will no longer be here. Now that we saved it, every time we open up DX window, this will automatically be here. We won't have to redo this step. Now we double click to run the game. Uh, turn down my mouse sensitivity. New game. Begin. Whenever you see an animation like that go through, let it play through before you do anything else. Um, I've had instances in the past where if I fast click while one's going on, the screen can go black and it'll force me to restart the game in order to play it again. Uh, I can still hear the sounds and everything, it's just the process gets hung up. There's not much you can do about that. But you can go in. 
Um, I've successfully played this game for hours and hours and hours with no crashes after this, so... Um, yeah, if you ever see one of the animations playing, let it play out before you, like, when you go into harbor and you dock and it's playing one, let it play out, then click dock. Uh, and that's pretty much stopped all the black screens I've gotten in the past. It doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, it's annoying. So I've learned to let these play, then click dock. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any problems, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Give the video a like. And I do supply all the files myself through Mediafire, so no third party. Have fun.